many of you want to live in a tiny house off grid? Get all of your electricity needs from the sun, buy you a nice piece of land here out in the country like I did, capture all your water needs from rain catchment. Okay, where do I get all the money for that? Well, hang on, I'm about to tell you. Go online and look up in-house finance on land, five to 30 acres, whichever you prefer and whichever you can afford. Next, you're gonna want to rent a skid steer or a track hoe to clear the roads like I did. You're gonna wanna clear a nice spot to put your house. This may take renting the machinery for three or four days. The day you sign the contract for your land is the day you step foot on it and start your work. Your payment shouldn't run you more than 800 a month for about 10 acres. The down payment will be about 12% of the total cost. Now let's price the solar set up here that runs this cabin. We have a total of about 12 panels here that are 330 watts a piece. You can get this many panels now for about $1,200. I'll leave a link in the video description. Next, we'll go to the combiner box. This is about 80 bucks. This Rubbermaid shed here that keeps the equipment in it is only about 300 bucks. This particular battery bank here cost about a thousand bucks, but there's much better options now that lithium batteries are so cheap. I'll leave a link in the description. This is our prized possession here that takes in all the energy and powers up the house. It's made by EG4. This thing is less than $700. And that's right, I'll leave a link in the description for you. All the wiring up under here and the underground wire going to the house, it'll all run you around 300 bucks. Now that we got power out here, we need a tiny home. This is my tiny home. It only cost me $8,400. You see those places on the side of the highway and they're selling sheds, tiny homes, and carports? Well, that's where I got it from one of those places. They delivered this thing here on a truck. It was free with the purchase. Yeah, I know you're saying I can't afford all that, but hang on. You can make payments on these things. Just like the land, you can put a down payment on this and pay somewhere around $500 a month. Next is our rainwater system. This was a great big tank that I chose because I got it on a trade. It's always a good thing to wheel, deal, and barter when you're off grid. Now, if you try to buy this tank new by Norwest, it's going to be about ten thousand dollars let's not do that that ruins all the fun here's option two you can get a 500 gallon tank these tanks like this may only run you about 800 bucks and they'll do if you're just starting out okay let's check out the pump house this place is a wreck i drug everything out of here and ripped insulation off the wall earlier because i killed a copperhead yeah that deal was scary okay now that the copperhead is dead and we got a great big mess in here i'm still going to try to show you my water system so the water from the black tank comes through here and it goes through this little harbor freight pump this pump was only about 179 dollars it comes with the tank tank on it and it's only a five gallon tank but it works really good for pressurizing up a small house this right here is a one micron filter that the water comes through before it goes into the house hey what about my wood burning stove that thing really keeps us nice and toasty in the winter we got it off facebook market used for 200 bucks i have to go and buy all this stuff new do like i did look for bargains this right here is an electric water stiller that runs off of my solar if we were going to drink this water it would definitely go through the distillation process before i did yeah well speaking of water pressure where does my water go after it goes down the drain as for the kitchen sink this five dollar septic system here made out of this plastic tub there's a 10 gallon tank under the ground just for the shower this propane tank yeah i got it for 250 bucks but it's not hooked up yet a few burn barrels from a trash i'm getting them about 10 bucks a piece that's pretty much the basics of what it would cost you to have your own off-grid property i'm still working on the inside of my cabin now you know it's possible if you're tired of living in a rat race and you love this type of life then come on let's do it